Electricity has been returned to the Crimean Peninsula, but only for three weeks. So says Mustafa Jamilev, a Ukrainian MP and leader of the Crimean Tatars, the group which has led the energy blockade of the Russian-occupied peninsula. Jamilev says that if Russia does not recognize that the territory belongs to Ukraine and does not sign documents to that effect, the lights will go out again. He says if Russia accepts the conditions, they might sign, but knowing the habits of Russia, they won't do it. Electricity was cut off to Crimea last month after activists destroyed power lines located on the Ukrainian mainland. Since then, some power has returned, but the Russian-occupied peninsula remains only partially online. The Crimean Tatars have said that they want the Ukrainian government to pass legislation officially halting the supply of energy to the Black Sea territory, which was seized by the Kremlin in March 2014.